finding consecutive numbers using quadratic equation the sum okay the sum of squares of squares of two consecutive positive numbers is 313 find the numbers so what you're told is that there are two consecutive positive numbers this is important they are consecutive this is important and the sum of their squares sum of their squares is 313 right so let's call one of these numbers as x okay so what will be the other number it will be obviously x plus 1 because these are consecutive right you could have taken x minus 1 also but I'm not getting into that so you are told that the sum of the squares of these two numbers which is x square and uh, x plus 1 whole square is equal to 313 and both these numbers are positive so you have to find out what are the value of these numbers so this is nothing but kind of a quadratic equation that you have if you solve this quadratic equation you will get the answer to this question <coughs> so x square gives you x square plus x plus 1 whole square gives you a square which is x square plus 1 square which is 1 plus 2ab 2 times x times 1 which is 2x is equal to 313 or in other words you get 2x square plus let's take this 2x over here plus 1 minus 313 if you move this to the other side it becomes minus is equal to 0 or simply speaking 2x square plus 2x minus 312 is equal to 0 if you notice the left hand side 2 is a common multiple in all these numbers so I can also write this as 2 times x square plus x minus 156 is equal to 0 or simply x square plus x minus 156 is equal to 0 by 2 or which is 0 again so now I've got a quadratic equation and I just need to resolve it to find out the value of x if you see the multiplication of 156 into 1 gives you 156 okay so we need to find out how do we substitute the value of plus x such that the numbers which are used to substitute this becomes 156 in terms of their product so I can just simply write this as x squared plus can I write this as um, 156 can also be written as 13 times 12 right and if I just write this as 13 x minus 12 x that also is nothing but plus x so I will write this as x squared plus 13 x minus 12 x and then you had minus 156 is equal to 0 just ignore this for the time being I take x common here I get x plus 13 I take minus 12 as common between these two and I get x plus 13 as well right or if I just rewrite this I get x minus 12 here I get x plus 13 is equal to 0 now either x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 13 is equal to 0 which gives me two values for x x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 13 but you were told in the beginning that these two pointers are positive so since minus 13 is negative we will ignore this value and we will take x as equal to 12 if x is equal to 12 what was the second number that we had we had x plus 1 right so the second number is x plus 1 or 13 right so these are the two consecutive number 12 and 13 whose squares are equal to 313 let's look at it 12 square gives you 144 13 square gives you 169 and if you do the total of these two you get 313 which proves that even our answer is correct <laughs>